Let's try and make some sense out of everything going on now. I'm joined now by Ian Paisley Jr., Member of Parliament for North Antrim and, of course, DUP MP. Um, so, Ian, f first of all, uh, why has your party refused to join government? Is this your fault? Well, good morning and thank you for having me on GB News. C can I just say that, you know, the, the reason why we have a problem in Northern Ireland it's not to do with the devolved structures. It's not to do with um, the parties in Northern Ireland per se. It's actually to do with the fact that we have a protocol that is destroying business, destroying the opportunities for business across these islands, destroying internal trade within the United Kingdom. And that protocol was brought about by the product of violence. Leo Varadkar ran around Europe threatening Europeans that if they didn't put a protocol in place and a border between Northern Ireland and the UK in place, then the IRA would return to violence. Today, we have the outcome of that, that if you threaten these sorts of things and you put in place unworkable, uncontrollable, unacceptable uh, structures like the protocol, then um, politics grinds to halt. You see, Tom, you will understand this. Politics in Northern Ireland depends on one thing, consensus. Because we have a divided community that's had years, 40 years of troubles, to get peace and stability you have to have agreement and consensus. Unionists do not agree with the protocol because it's destroying trade and undermining the union and we're subject to foreign powers from Europe and they're unaccountable. Those things have got to be swept to the side. That rubble has got to be pushed away and we've got to have a new understanding and a new arrangement that allows Northern Ireland to function properly uh, and, and uh, in an understandable and acceptable way. And, uh, so have an election. The parties will muster up to that election, will fight that election. Nothing will actually change. And uh, until they sort out the protocol, uh, there will be uh, no, no change to the standoff. And really it's a choice for the government. Do they want the protocol? Or do they want power sharing? You can't have both. And so it's really about um, talking less and saying more. Let's have some action, Secretary of State, on the protocol. And yet the government would say to you, Ian Paisley, that they are trying to act on the protocol. They've passed the uh, Northern Ireland Protocol Bill through the Commons, although it is slowing down in the Lords, of course. They are concurrently having conversations with the European Union, trying to renegotiate it, propose their own settlement of a, a green red lane situation that would allow the free flow of goods between GB and NI that were going to stay in Northern Ireland. And according to all reports, there is progress being made in those talks. Has the DUP uh, stymied that chance by not giving the government time? Uh, well, I, I think it is fair to say that the government, I think, does have the will to change this. Of that, there is no doubt. I, I do believe that the government wants to change the protocol. They recognise that it is not acceptable. That's why they've brought forward the protocol bill. But it's stuck in that house behind us. And until it moves from the Lords, and I don't really care how many amendments they, they bring back to the House of Commons, as long as the House of Commons is consistent and re-endorses what they sent down to the Lords in the first instance, in other words, a non-amended bill, and implements that bill, we will be out of this mess sooner rather than later. So really, the one group of people who today are holding back power shine are actually the unelected lords in that building behind me. And the sooner they pull the finger out, as we would say in Northern Ireland, and get that bill back to the House of Commons, unmolested and unamended, the better for resolving this problem. And I think that that, that is one prospect. There hasn't been one hour of negotiations with the European uh, Union on this matter. There's been, yes, talks, periphery, discussions, and I think very positive uh, discussions but until the European Union extends the mandate, in other words, until they say mm. we are prepared to negotiate and here's the issues we will negotiate on, all of the things that we're hearing about positive mood music from Europe is just that, positive mood music, but no change. And we've got to see changes. You know, talking, as I've said, let's talk less mm. and say more. Let's actually have some productivity.